Hi guys, Eddie from Sailor Ventor here. I've got Marcus. I've got Lillian with me. Marcus and Lillian, may I know how old are you? I'm 75. 71. 75 and 71. You know, whenever the fans make fun of me for being old, now I know these are the true elders and the seniors of society that we look up to. Okay, Marcus, um, are, you a, are you a Sailors fan? How do you become a Sailors fan? Well, uh, my, my grandson plays in LCS. How old is your grandson? My grandson is 10 years old. 10 years old. Do you think one day he'll become a future star here? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. We, we leave it to his choice, what he wants to do. Okay. You know, but he enjoys it right now. So, so I think I think we just we just go as, go by the flow. Okay. As he's, long as he likes it, well, you know, we will encourage it. Well, he's still under ten, so I won't put him under pressure. Ask for his oh. name and all that. Lillian, did you enjoy yourself tonight? Oh yes, yes, very much. <laughs> did you expect the LCS will win so convincingly? You did, I think oh, you did expect it as well? So did I. Uh, I predicted 4-1. Uh, do you predict 5-2? Well, I, I, I don't know, but I expected it to, you know, LCS will win. Pretty well, yeah. Yeah, pretty well. Because uh, I, think, I think they have learned quite a bit uh, with, the, with the Spurs game. I think they came back uh, more, more confident, I think, yeah. in their game. I, I feel I feel that uh, the ball possession, the passing is more accurate. Ball control is very good. So I think they deserve to to win. Uh, of course, you know, uh, Tampines is also a very good team. Uh, so so it was a good it was a good game actually. It was a good fight, especially in the second half. Uh, beginning of the second half, I think it was a a big challenge. But at the end, you know, I, uh, I, I'm glad that uh, LCS win the game. Uh, hopefully, they will continue to play well, you know, yeah, in, in the coming games. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Marcus. Thank you so much for your time, Lillian. Thank you very much. Thank you. So nice to see you. Hope you come, hope you'll come back for more games, yeah? Hi, yeah. guys. Okay, Eddie from Sailor Van Talk here. I have Auntie Yung here. I have Han Yu and I have Han Wee. These are a bunch of uh, two grandsons who have brought their grandmother to watch the game, alright? So, this is not a combination I usually see at the SPL game. So, Auntie Ng, can I speak Hawaii? Okay. Auntie, you're 82 years old. 82 years old. 82 years old. 82 years old. 82 years Okay, okay. And you guys are how old? Uh, I'm 22 this year. And I'm 19 this year. Oh, very young guys. Okay, okay. So, uh, what makes you bring your grandma to the games? What, what does she like about the games? Uh, it started out since Home United la, many years ago, so on and off we will bring her to the match like SPL to watch the game. Then uh, recently like she likes the Maxine Nestin. She likes Maxine Yeah, Nestin. because she, he's very fast and he always scores goals. goals. Yeah, then okay, we always okay. uh, on and off will bring her to the stadium to watch. Yeah. Thank you for the interview. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Hanwi. Thank you. Alright, guys, Eddie from Sailor Fan Talk here. I'm flanked by Twin Towers. They are twins, they are towers. I have Brandon, I have Barry here. Brandon, we spoke before the game, you said that you didn't think the Sailors would F it up. What are your thoughts now? Well, as I've said, you know, for a long time, Sailors got to buck up the defence. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, they took their chances today. I feel that they could have taken uh, more chances, but five is good enough. And uh, yeah, I'm just happy that they won this game. You can tell my voice is hoarse. And uh, disappointed they, they considered two, but I sort of expected. My, my philosophy is if you're going to concede one goal, you better score two. If you're going to concede two goals, you better score three. So, yep, kudos to them. All right, Barry, who are you, who are you particularly impressed by today? I, I, I think uh, it's, uh, it's a no-brainer. It's uh, Lestien. <laughs> no, he's got three fantastic goals and, uh, in the first half and just wrapped up and killed the game in the first half. That's all. Um, well, Brendan, maybe you can take this one. Were you surprised by how hard Tampanese and how successfully they came back into the game actually? 
No, I've always known that Tampines would somehow try to come back and you can see after the uh, penalty and speaking of penalty, sorry, I digress a bit. I think you guys, the officials, should really distinguish between ball to hand and hand to ball. That split second, like, come on. And I've been very, very, very... I look at the replay, I said, there's no way anybody could, you know, could siam that one, right? So, yeah, you got to take a look at it and try to distinguish between ball to hand and hand to ball. But yeah, anyways, Tampanese are always fighters. They always come back, they always try to come back. And yeah, and I'm not surprised, but like I said, they should try to take more chances for, for City Sailors. Also, shout out to the stadium announcer who said that the penalty was an electrifying penalty. <laughs> I don't know what electrifying penalty is. What do you think about the stadium announcer? Do you think the stadium announcer was a... There's a lot of excitement into the crowd. Um, I think he's doing his job to push the, uh, the, the <laughs> MRC. I'm not... Uh, you, know, you know, honestly, I think uh, I, this is what we need for Singapore football, you know, to push up the, uh, the, the, the atmosphere and to make everything more lively and not just come out and just uh, do your hosting and commentary as uh, Flat boys, so all credit to them. Alright, thank you guys so much for your time. Thank you. See you see you guys at every game from now on, yeah?